Hello, and welcome to LEGO Mindstorm's EV3 Basics Brick Overview. To start with, we'll talk about the brick in general, and then we'll, in the process of things, discuss how to turn the brick on and off, talk about the menu tabs in the display area, and the buttons that control it all. Let's get started. So looking at the top of our robot, we have two distinct areas the display area, and the button area. And if you think of the brick as a computer, the display area is equivalent to the monitor, while the button area is equivalent to the keyboard. And we'll talk about these more in depth a little bit later. So now we're looking at the alpha ports and the cabling which connect our medium motor and our large motors. The alpha ports are send ports. They send information to the motors. But what I also want you to notice is the PC port. That is where you connect your brick to the computer via the USB cabling in order for the brick and computer to communicate with each other. So now we're looking at the left side of the brick where we see a USB port and an SD port. This USB port is not for connecting to the computer, but rather for daisy chaining bricks which means connecting multiple bricks in sequence, up to four bricks actually. The SD port is for expanding the memory of the brick, or you can also place programs on SD cards, mini SD cards, and interchange them with the brick, so you're basically swapping out programs. So now we're looking at the back of our robot where we see our numeric ports and the cabling which connect our color sensor and ultrasonic sensor. Numeric ports are receiving ports. They receive information from our sensors. Like the alpha ports, which send information, the numeric ports receive information. Very important to remember. So getting back to the top of our robot, we know that the display area is basically a monitor and the button area is your keyboard. More specifically, we have a left, a right, an up, and a down for navigation buttons. We also have a center select button, which helps you to select items that are highlighted in the display. It's also the key to turning the robot on. So let's go ahead and do that. Press the center button. First thing you notice is the red light that indicates you are in the process of booting up your computer, the brick. You'll also see Mindstorm starting is displayed in the display area. Eventually, when it's done booting up, you'll get a green light and a funny little noise. But before we get into what we now see in the display area, let's talk about the back button. The back button also helps you navigate back screens on the display area, as well it helps you to get to the turn off screen, the shutdown screen. But almost more importantly, it's what gets you out of a running program. For instance, your robot is running and you realize that in the middle of the program it's not doing what you want it to, and rather than let the program run in its entirety, you hit the back button and that stops your program dead in its tracks. So when the brick has finished booting up, the first thing you see in the display area is the Run Recent tab. Basically, that's a list of any programs you may have run recently. Right now, our show is empty because we haven't run any. But if you navigate right by pressing the right button, you get into the File Navigation tab, or the File Navigation area. There you see projects that have been downloaded to the brick. And if you click the Center button, You'll see the programs which are available to be run underneath that project. Navigating right again, we get to the Brick Applications tab. Right off the bat, we see what's the most important thing in our application, and that is the port view. But you can also navigate down to Brick Program 
you can actually do some programming directly on the brick, but it's a little cumbersome, so we won't be going there. If you want some examples of how to do it, reference the course sets manual. So navigating back up to our port view and then selecting it by hitting the center button, you'll see what closely resembles the hardware page in the EV3 software. What I want to show you is that it gives you real time information. Here we see the color sensor information coming through real time as well as the ultrasonic sensor. To get back to our display screen, hit the back button. So now if we navigate right one last time, it gets us into the settings screen. Here we can do things like change the volume. If we hit the center button to select volume, we get another little window where we can hit the left button, lower the volume, hit the right button to raise the volume. And then to get out of that, just simply hit the back button. So the last thing we have to go through is how to turn the brick off. Remember I said earlier that the back button was a key to that. So let's go ahead and hit that. Sometimes you gotta hit it a couple times, but eventually you get the shut off screen. And you'll notice you have an X that's highlighted that, and then you have a check mark that is not. The check mark is what we want to say true. Yes, we do want to shut off. So we tab right or navigate right, highlight the check mark, hit the center button to select it and you'll see that the lights turn red we get Mindstorm shutting down and eventually when it's all said and done it'll go blank and the lights will go out